What's going on guys? All right, so we've got the Losi LST2 double XL here. We've got a wicked noise coming from the front diff. Um, lots of play on the center drive shaft. And uh, under brakes, there's a serious cracking noise coming under there. Almost sounds like the slipper clutch is slipping, but looking down from the top, you can see the case, you can get a screwdriver in there and uh, you can wobble it around. It's quite easy to see there's a problem there. So I'm gonna get this plate out and uh, pull the diff out and see what we're working with. All right, that front plate's out. Time to get the, uh, the bulkhead screws out. Bumper, nice aluminium plate here. Keep the front end nice and strong. Hinge pin, hinge pin. Now you've got these little brackets that go in here, little sliders. One on each side. Should just come straight out. There's the problem. Front diff is blown. It's just the casing. Nothing too drastic. So, what I did, I picked up another whole diff and uh, two of these drive shafts because I have noticed on this front wheel here, this guy's bent. So when you're on throttle, you can see that guy wobbling around crazy. So I'm gonna chuck in one new drive shaft on this side, diff casing. I was gonna just do the casing, but thought just order a whole diff, plop it in, and keep that other one as a spare. Do this. So I'm just going to lock tight these screws again on here, make sure they're all sitting nicely as well. Stuff holds up really nice. Perfect screw lock. Much more racing. Give it 24 hours. Never backs off loose. Beautiful. Feels a lot better. Close to the right, so I've got a spare drive shaft, out drive cups, bearings. These guys are holding up quite nicely, too. There's a bit of edge wear in the corners here. It's got lots of forward bite these tyres, but they do lack a bit of side grip. So when you come around and kick the back end out, can be good and bad. Um, you know, it swings you around nicely, but also when you want grip, it, it's a bit less there. So let's get this, this hex off. You have a pin down the middle. Screw on the end. So 
this guy's copped a bit of a hiding. Slightly bent, as you can see on there. Nothing major, but enough to uh, warrant a change. In the hole. Perfect. Back in. Beautiful. One more thing that we're missing. It's a little rub screw in the end of here. back in and it holds that pin in place. And that's a two and a half mil. Okay, that's it. Drive shaft out, try and hammer that straight. Keep it as a spare again as well. All right, let's slide this diff back in. Line it up here, into the coupling, into the uh, center drive cup. Get these guys back in. Beautiful. Put these little slots in for the diff. Oh, all the way around. Okay. Hey, arms. Go this one. Make sure these cups are always in. It's nothing worse than putting this on and not having it in the cup. Okay. This little bracket on the top slots in between the uh, hinge pins and the plate. That's it, that's good to go. Right, this guy's a bit bent too. So what I'm gonna do is crank the hammer out and flatten it. And use a few of these new base screws. That's the number there. They strip out. It's probably the worst thing about this whole entire truck is these base screws. Okay. I've had to drill out one here before, one here before, because they are they're one and a half mil. They're bloody tiny. Too small. Four one and a half mil screws up under here. Okay. Right, 
turn this bumper bar up. anymore under there. I've put these screws in and out so many times the uh doesn't thread in anymore so it's a bit of a bummer. See this guy's barely holding as well. It's the only thing that holds the front bumper bar on. It's for another day. Well, that's how you get the diff diff in and out. Super easy. That was the issue. Big crack on the top of the casing. Alright, that's a wrap guys. New front diff in. I'm going to go charge up some batteries. And uh, give this guy a test.